Hello, Short Me Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. Uh, doing a video recap for ticker HMNY. Right now, what you're looking at is a daily chart dating back to, well, we can't see what's up here. So definitely let's focus in on what's going on here. Uh, starting around May, look at, this is volume bar uh, underneath here, right? Let's look at volume. Uh, let's look at, you know, sellers versus buyers. And what stands out to me, um, and I've indicated this before, uh, nothing but selling, right? You've had a, you had a few, um, you know, green bars here and there, but majority, right? Overwhelmingly, in my opinion, what stands out is a lot of selling, which indicates or should indicate to you that folks are unloading. Um, and if we didn't know why back here, why folks were unloading, right? When we just, we had a surge in selling, Right. If you didn't know why folks were unloading here, uh, obviously in the days that ensued, we figured out or we were told why people were unloading because the company was burning cash insanely. And, uh, you know, they didn't know whether or not they can make it uh, through the year or the next month, etc. So let's fast forward here and notice that look at this spike in volume as well. So while I thought, right. Uh, most recently, I think I identified like five or six cents uh, as the floor based on the chart. Um, and full disclosure, while I am still long, um, you know, this really troubles me because the same the same reason I f felt right based on volume that there was something internally going on and we didn't know what was going on and it was going to come out. I feel that there might be some more bad news uh, coming our way. With that said, when I went into HMNY, I knew the risk that I was taking. Uh, and believe it or not, while I am underwater with the trade, I'm very comfortable. Why? Well, one, it's not my only trade. It's one out of one out of many. Uh, and you know, this is just the nature of the game sometimes. At any rate, so today. On volume, uh, we shed something like, I don't know, about 5%. So it's kind of one of our better days because uh, most recently we've been uh, selling off to the tune of 10%, 15%, 20%. So I'm not really doing this video to do technical analysis per se because obviously at 11 cents, the stock is not um, quote unquote high quality. If you're in this trade or if you're getting into this trade right now, it is um, based on, in my opinion, complete speculation because the company has a lot of work to do to turn around. Now, I have made a bet, right? Hence why I'm still long, that there's a possibility that it, it can happen. And if it does, in my opinion, that risk that I'm undertaking right now um, outweighs or rather the reward outweighs the risk the potential reward if we so happen to get there so you know i usually browse these um message boards and i get emails and text messages regarding hm and y and you know i just have to say that if you're if you're constantly you know if this trade is making you crazy one thing head on over to shortmetina.com and in my search field, you can put in, there's, I just read all my blogs. All my blogs, not all of them, but a lot of them touch on trading and market psychology, right? It talks about sizing and points and, you know, and allocation and dealing with the market's uncertainty. And, you know, yeah, shortmetina.com and read my blogs. You can reach out to me shouldn't lose sleep over this, right? Should not lose sleep. And if you're losing sleep, it means that your position size is too big. With that said, it looks like there will be more pain in store. Not necessarily because of the close, but I'm just paying attention to the volume for the past four days. Nothing but unloading doesn't seem to be, um, it doesn't seem, there doesn't, it does not seem that any, it doesn't seem as though anyone wants to get into this trade. Let's put it that way. So I'll kind of leave it at that. So let's go on to another trade. HMNY, still long, but at this point, um, they have to, they just, we have to see how this year ends um, uh, with movie pass. I mean, that's, that's basically what it is, right? So technically at this point, I don't think the technicals, 
I don't want to say that they don't matter, but at 11 cents, does it really matter? You know, you, you can only do technical analysis, in my opinion, for for so long. And I've been doing it since the stock was at like $2, rather, I think 3 or $4. It's at 11 cents right now. So at this point, it's more so wait and see to see if they can sort of right this ship um, fundamentally, right? Um, yeah. That's kind of it. Anyway, so a little all over the place with that. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update for folks wondering whether or not I'm still in this trade. So NXTD. All right. Uh, so NXTD stock is up about uh, a good north of 17% today on decent volume, right? Um, so very interesting. This is a, a daily chart dating back to around... February of 2018, so it's about five months old. And, you know, you know, I love to play support resistance. I like to find those areas where buyers tend to step in. I like to unload or short where I think buyers are going to start to unload. And if you look at this chart right here for the past few months, right, support more or less is held. And we can say support comes in at around, I don't know, let's say around that 180 mark, right? So we kind of bounce off support here, right? We got to support. We had little bounces or we kind of just kind of, you know, we kind of hung out around that support area, tested it many times, right? We tested it from, let's say, March to June. And like I've always indicated, if a stock tests a particular area, whether it be support or resistance multiple times, chances are it's going to break it. Even if it doesn't sustain that break, it's going to break it. In this particular situation, stock broke support, right? Now it's resistance in uh, early June. We tried to penetrate uh, what was one support back here, now resistance here. We tried to we tried to penetrate it uh, for two months, and then we finally broke through uh, today um, with momentum and volume starting yesterday. And interestingly enough, closing here at 182, we've pulled back to that resistance slash support area. So right now we're kind of sitting on support. So for me, uh, for ticker NXTD, seems like uh, momentum and volume is on their side, right? It's on the stock side. The fact that we closed at 182, we're sitting on support, right? We didn't close that far from today's high of 194. And considering that, if we can stay above 180, I see, um, you know, here, I can see us getting to around this resistance level of $2.15. So sitting here at 182, there's still about, do the math, about 35 cents upside from here. If you want to take the trade, you can. Full disclosure, I am not in the trade. And finally, ticker BOX, one of my favorites. Love, love, love this chart, love the setup. I'm not gonna show you everything. I've done a lot of videos on Tricker BOX. If you go to my website, Short Me Tina, and you click on a trading watch list, you'll see that I did a video recap on Ticker BOX several weeks ago. Still very much so relevant. Um, full disclosure, I am long Ticker BOX. When I first, uh, you know, when I first stumbled on this stock, Stock was trading at around uh, $17, and it has given you multiple uh, opportunities for entry, right? Multiple opportunities for entry, unload, re-entry, etc. Um, I don't really always play that, you know, enter, sell, re-enter game. Um, but if you do, Box has provided you multiple opportunities to do that. Uh, so for ticker BOX, there's, again, so much to love about this stock from a technical perspective. We're not even going to touch on the fundamental and all the great things that they're doing. If you want to know the great things they're doing, head on over to shortmeeting.com, hit that trading watch list, scroll down, you'll see box ticker. And I have, a, I have several links. Click those links and it'll, it'll give you a bit of explanation about ticker BOX. Anyway, so for me, fun, uh, technically rather, I like this uh, chart because the patterns are so... It, it, like it repeats itself time and time again, right? Patterns that I'm familiar with, patterns that I like to trade. We can call this either sideway action, right? We can say this could be range, can be a rounding bottom, stock broke out on above average volume. Right here, that break around that 23, 24 mark, right? 
that was um, a multi-year resistance level. That was the high that the stock achieved back when it IPO'd, I think back in, uh, don't quote me, like 2015 and 2014. And after two or three years, we finally broke that resistance level on volume, although we uh, touched it multiple times, but like I indicated in the last video, the more times you can see it, one, two, three, four, five, several times, the more times a level is tested, whether it be support or resistance in NXCD, the last video, it was support. In this instance, it is the resistance level. The more um, an area is tested, the likelihood of that area being broken is very high. And so we broke that area in April on above average volume. And look what the stock is doing, something that I love, right? After you have an explosive move for a stock to remain healthy and continue trending, right? It needs to have a period of consolidation after a strong move, in my opinion, right? And I think that's what the stock is doing right now. It's uh, consolidating, in my opinion, for the next leg up. So I definitely see this as a $30 stock, mid $30 stock. Um, so sitting here at twenty six eighty nine, I still think that there's room uh, to go for ticker BOX. Again, I think this is a thirty dollars stock. I would not be surprised if this has a thirty five thirty four print in the next month or two. So put ticker BOX on your watch list. It's going to be on my watch list for a very long time because although I am long, I still want to pay attention to the stock from time to time. Uh, at any rate, so. Let's go back here two seconds and then I will I'll I'll, I'll wrap it up because the videos the video is getting a bit long. So again, once an area is tested multiple times, chances are it's going to break. And it seems as though this resistance level here of around uh, twenty eight has been tested a few times. Um, and it looks like we're gearing up. Look at these long legs right here, or the, look at this week on this candle. So it looks like we're gearing up to at least retest uh, 28. Hopefully it breaks, and if it does, I think it's gonna be a violent move and we'll see 30 in no time. So that's my take on ticker BOX. Uh, what else? HMNY, you just gotta wait. And if you're in this too big, you just gotta learn uh, position sizing. You shouldn't be so big into a trade, right? I know what's going on with this. Right, volume selling from two to 11 cents in a matter of, of weeks, not good. NXTD daily, if we can stay above 180, I think we make a run at around 215. And box, definitely put this on your watch list. There's potential for anywhere, I wanna say, five to 10 points of upside. So that's it. I did three videos. Um, I condensed them into one because it, sometimes that's just the way it is. So Short Me Tina here from shortmetina.com. If you liked any of the videos or anything that I had to say in any one of my videos, do two things for me. One, head on over to my YouTube page at Short Me Tina and hit that subscribe button. I do daily videos I am committed to doing a video for you guys at least once a day. After that, head on over to my website, shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always,